All right, saints. Um, I got to warn you about somebody who likes to falsely flag like a bunch of trolls will normally do. Now, it's a false prophet that I exposed, okay, that was once, I believe, called by God but fell off the path. I'm not going to state that as fact. Her name is Demoness Wabi Jung. Not demoness, I'm just calling her a demon. But, see, when you use her, uh, when you use her video material, right, um, what she does is, she will, see, she has video material, like, I'll give you an example, her first testimony of hell, the nine minute one, which I believe she was shown hell before she blasphemed God, okay, that nine minute video that I talked to you guys about, she, uh, she put it in the in the uh, creative comments, and she did specifically say that people can reshare her video and use it as a testimony to help their help those that are watching their channels out, you know, come to Christ. She said that they can use the the video. She also said, you know, her material that you know her testimony that um, she gave permission that everybody can use her video, right? She gave permission that you can, I mean, I'm talking about the vi the original video, the testimony, the nine minute one. She gave permission that people can use that. She gave permission that um, they can use it to, so people can realize in these last days that hell is indeed a real place. Apparently, she retracted her video. You know, her she retracted that. When people use her testimony, the original one, the nine minute one, when she was in hell, she'll been shown hell. She falsely flags their channel and she puts up false flags of copyright infringement. And it's a hypocritical double standard. So I'm, if this false prophet's hearing me, Jesus Christ is very wroth with her because then she, she not only does that, but she falsely flags the channel of that individual. Now, if anyone exposes her, we are entitled to free speech. I have a brother in Christ that sent me this video that he did. He exposed her, right? And she falsely flagged his channel. She is a liar and a deceiver. And um, she, I believe she falsely flagged his channel. Now, this video says it's been taken out because a claimant sent a legal notice about their copyrighted content in your video. As a result, your video has been removed from YouTube. Now, um, what I noticed looking over this video is that the material that was used was in the public domain. All of it. It was in the Creative Commons, which is a public domain. When you make your videos available in the Creative Commons, ladies and gentlemen, that's a public domain. That vid, that, and that, at that point, anybody can use the material, okay? But apparently, this demon is falsely flagging his channel, okay? Not just his, other brothers and sisters in Christ. Because, I don't know, she's seeking the glory of man. She thinks, this is her mindset... That if you use her testimony, you're going to get subscribers. It doesn't matter how many subscribers and viewers you have. What matters is reaching souls and bringing them to Christ. Amen? Yes, that's what matters. But you got this false prophet, demon, who is falsely flagging other brothers and sisters in Christ. Now, I told you what her upgrade, what her perverted, uh, upgraded testimony show. See, her original testimony for hell, I told you all, was nine minutes. But her upgraded ones, that she added stuff to it, has has characteristics of evolution. She teaches evolution in there, that God took 13.7 billion years to create mankind, which isn't true. She has other stuff in there, like Hinduism. Um, she has other crazy stuff that angels have machine guns. I mean, this lady is psychotic. I mean, she is nuts. When I tell you nuts, I think this lady is probably on some type of hallucinogenic, taking drugs, and just really insane. To, to think that God would have a Hindu temple in heaven, really, that's what she has on one of her videos. Or to think that God would have above his palace a moon and a crescent star, I'm sorry, a crescent moon and a star, which is an Islamic symbol. So she has, I, she has Islamic uh elements in her video as well. I mean, this lady is toasted in the head. So I'm here to tell you people, 
If you use her video material to be very careful because she's going to falsely flag your channel. Okay? She tried to do it to me. But I filed a copyright dispute saying that she said in her video that everybody could use her material so people could know hell is real. That's the, oh, that's the first original testimony she did, the nine minute one, that's true. The rest of them are freaking psychotic, but the nine minute one is true. And um, she said that people could use that video, the nine minute one, for their, for to share it, make it go viral so people can know that hell is real, right? She gave permission. She even put the video in the public domain. Then she got the nerve to turn around and try to say that I stole her material and try to put a copyright of violation on my channel, you know. So I filed a dispute. And the dispute said exactly what I'm telling you. I said that in dispute. She made it available in a public domain in the Creative Commons. She And it's, it's for educational purposes. I'm not profiting from it. And I did exercise a fair... Um, the Fair Copyright Act. I did exercise that in the video as well, you know, and she gave permission for people to use her video. I mean, if you people that are filing copyright claims, you don't want nobody to use your video, don't put it in the public domain. It's as simple as that. I mean, point blank, period, okay? And I explained that in the video as well, and YouTube removed that strike against me. You know, God knows that wolves like this in sheep's clothing are out there. So the Lord told me that he's going to deal with her and she's not going to like it. Because right now, she's making all kinds of money. She's begging for money. She's making all kinds of money and exploiting God and it's not right. And also, she put up this fake sob story about her life. How she's broke, how she don't have this, how she don't have that, how she got to struggle Cry me a river because we all got our problems, okay? We all got our problems. Well, we have bills. We got to struggle. We got to go through a lot. We got to pay. We got to support our family. Some of us live paycheck to paycheck. Some of us still live on the street, but we're making do with what we got. We're doing the best we can with what we have. I mean, I struggle. You don't see me getting on here begging for money like she does, giving you some type of sob story. Those tears that she got are fake to the core like she is. So you people want to be stupid enough to donate to this heifer, you can go right ahead. That's your choice. Heifer's not a curse. It means red cow. And that's what she is. She's a cow. She's a cow. She's trying to... Um, she's a cow, first of all. But she's trying to get everybody to milk her. She's trying... Let me, let me rephrase that. She's a cow. I believe that. But I believe that she's trying to milk you people for your money. And you people need to wake up and stop being brain dead. And I'm only saying that out of love. I'm correcting you people out of love. Because people, YouTube is full of false prophets like this. She's putting up a fake story. See, when people expose her, because there's a lot of people that expose her. This Wabi Jung character, right? When people expose her, okay... She starts putting up a sob story so she can play on your heart and on your emotions and trying to get you people to say, oh, she's broke. Let me reach in my wallet. Let me give her money. You know, she's begging for money. She needs to get off her lazy behind and get a job, even if it means flipping burgers or, you know, I don't know, selling lipstick or something. She needs to do something. But in the last days, ladies and gentlemen, God said in his word, there's going to be false prophets. There's going to be wolves in sheep's clothing and, and false Christ. The Lord told me she falsely flagged true servants of God more than once. And the Lord gave me, if she's watching this, a message to give to her. Everything she has is going to be stripped. And the, you literally, Miss Young, fell into the Lord's hand. He's going to deal with you. I see you for what you are. You can have thousands of people, you know, full. I mean, you have nothing but a cult going on. No, no different than Islam. So you have a thousand people full, but I'm not. I'm not being fooled. I know you a false prophet. I believe that your first testimony to hell was accurate. But then after that, you started adding all some kind of psychotic stuff about the angels having a lab and researching disease. The Bible doesn't talk about that. The Bible says that the Lord laid hands on uh, the sick and healed them. Jesus Christ didn't have no lab and research diseases. You are crazy. And I think, miss, that you you are either taking the strongest medication or you are smoking weed. And I'm going to be for real. Ladies and gentlemen, you know I'm real. 
You know, I'm 100%. I keep it 100% with you. I love everybody. But when you stuff like this is happening, it's got to be brought to the light. Amen. Please take care. Please pray for discernment and be careful and at all costs, avoid people like this. Don't let them play on your sympathies. Don't let them steal your blessings. Don't let Satan steal your blessings, a blessing that somebody else can have that they truly need. Um, remember, the Lord frowns on donations. She accepts donations. You know, behind the camera, I believe she's pocketing that money. You know, she doesn't do the Lord's will. You know, she's all about herself, about making money, seeking the glory of man. I mean, this woman's full of pride. Okay. She, I believe, was called to testify about hell, but she fell off the path and she didn't blast. She, she, don't, she don't blaspheme God too many times. Too many times. So, ladies and gentlemen, you be careful. And I'm going to end it here.